Hello! In this video I'll talk about the different sets of Qt Quick 3D components available in the library view of Qt Design Studio and show you how to add them to your scene. We'll also take a quick look at how to change some of their main properties. Let's first have a look at the set of components titled Qt Quick 3D Custom Shader Utilities. The commands and utilities in this group can be used to create your own effects and materials from scratch. For more information on the custom shader utilities and other sets of Qt Quick 3D components, please refer to our documentation. Next, we have a set of Qt Quick 3D effects, which are visual effects visible in Form Editor. You can add, for example, different kinds of blur and distortion effects to your scene. To apply a visual effect to your scene, drag and drop it to a View 3D component in Navigator. You can apply multiple effects to one scene. You can view the effects applied to the scene in the Properties view of the scene environment. Finally, Qt Design Studio provides a default set of Qt Quick 3D materials that can be used to create good-looking models quickly and easily. You can apply metal, glass, paper or plastic-based materials to your models. To apply 3D materials to models, you should first delete the default material and then drag and drop a new material from a library to a model component in Navigator. You can apply the same material to another component as well. Again, delete the default material first. You should then select the component and go to the Properties view. Find the Materials property, press the plus icon and choose the new material in the drop-down menu. You can change the properties of each component in the Properties view. In this view, the properties are grouped by type. The top part of the view displays properties that are common to all components, such as type name, ID, position, size and visibility, while the rest of the properties vary between components. Please refer to our documentation for detailed descriptions of properties available for each component. In this video we've looked at the different types of Qt Quick 3D components available in library. Thanks for watching.